Okay, so I've been playing New World for about one week casually. What does that mean exactly? It means I've been playing for a total of 22 hours as of this recording. It means I have a typical 9 to 5 job, so I've been playing about 1 to 3 hours per night, almost every night. Playing casually means I didn't play any of the betas, I didn't read any guides, at least not at first, about the game beforehand. I wanted everything to be a fresh and new experience, a blind playthrough if you will. Here are my thoughts so far. You start out the game with the typical tutorial to learn movement and combat controls. My first impression was that the combat seemed eh, fine. What I mean by that is that the tutorial was pretty clear and straightforward with the controls. The action style combat mechanics are fluid and have a little bit of a learning curve if you're used to only tab targeting MMOs. You only use the sword in the tutorial however, and you're basically left to figure out how to use the other weapons on your own. The other weapons aren't hard to learn, but it may be a while before you get them from a quest or a loot drop or crate. For example, I didn't get a life staff or a musket until I was level 14. Of course, you can always switch, but I was kind of set on the weapon choice I had already been using. It would have been nice to have been given more weapons at the beginning, maybe one of each type of weapon, a one-handed, a two-handed, a ranged, and a magic type. It would also expose beginners to the different types of combat so they could decide which style they liked best from the beginning, but this is a pretty minor issue in my opinion. One positive note on the weapon choices is that all the weapons are completely viable at low levels. There are attribute points you can assign when you level up, and I assigned most of my points to strength and dex for my melee weapons. Then I picked up an ice gauntlet, which scales from intelligence, but I wanted to try it out anyway. I could kill mobs and complete quests just as easily with the ice gauntlet as I did with the spear and hatchet that I was using. So don't think that once you start committing points into a certain direction, you can't touch any other weapons because it'll be useless. Try as many weapons as you can in the early game, and you can always respec all your points for free until level 20 so it's easy to switch priorities if you find a new weapon that you like. Questing starts out pretty straightforward and linear in the beginning with just the main quest line. Then it expands once you reach your first town. There are side quests and town project quests that become available to you which give you a lot of places to go and tasks to complete within your zone. Once you hit level 10, you can choose a faction to join and then faction quests become available to you. I'll talk about factions more in a minute, but with all the other quests, you'll have plenty to do early on. These quests can vary from gathering and crafting quests, to explore and loot quests, to standard fetch and kill quests. This is an attempt to accommodate all playstyles, but not all quests are created equal. There are plenty of videos on YouTube about which quests to take in order to level the fastest, and you should go and watch some of those if your goal is just to get to max level as soon as possible. As a casual player, I'll just say this. Fetch and kill quests take time. The maps are large, there are no mounts, and while there is fast travel, it's expensive, so you'll be roughing it on foot most of the time. Materials from gathering and crafting can be purchased from the trading post, or auction house as it's more commonly known, and turned in quickly. With that being said, I usually try to load up on as many quests in town, then I'll plan a route on the map where I can knock out as many quests as possible. While I don't want to play Running Simulator all day, I do enjoy exploring the maps and looting crates and mobs to gain XP and resources. Just keep these things in mind when you decide how you want to level and experience the game. So far, I really like the crafting system in this game. It's not too complicated and is very diverse to suit many interests. I should clarify that there are separate skills for gathering and crafting, and all the skills overlap and interlace together to create a pretty robust system. Again, there are tons of guides on YouTube on how to make the most money or the best place to farm a certain material, and if you plan to spend a lot of time crafting, then you should definitely look into those videos. But for myself and for other casual players, I'll say this. Every skill has benefits, and you can make at least decent money in every trade you go into, so pick whatever interests you. I'm personally focusing on skinning and gathering skills in order to work on cooking and leather crafting. But I have also spent some time logging and mining as a nice break in between my journeys for quests around the map. 
I like breaking up the questing grind with some easy gathering so I don't feel bored or burnt out by doing the same thing every night that I play. This means I'm not leveling as fast as others, but I'm having a better overall experience even with my limited playtime. There is a ton of information on this game that specifically pertains more toward the end game. Factions could be an entire video by itself, but here are a few high level key points. There are three factions, and in the beginning, pick whichever one your friends are in, or whichever one seems the coolest to you. Factions can govern over each zone on the map, and being a member of the governing faction has small perks like reduced fast travel costs and linked storage sheds between the zones, which is definitely nice to have, but don't worry about it too much early on. Factions can go to war with each other to take over zones, so the governing factions will constantly change over time. These wars are typically going to be for the max level tryhards, and the same goes for faction invasions, so don't worry about any big faction stuff early on. Just do your faction quest for XP and use your faction tokens at the shop. Stats for gear are the same across all factions, the differences are purely cosmetic. There are high level dungeons called expeditions in the game. There are some tough elite level monsters and usually at least one boss. This is going to be the best place to find high tier weapons and gear for your character. The first expedition is available at level 25, so I'll be trying that out very soon. Overall, I'm really enjoying my experience so far in New World. I guess it's time to try and answer the question that everybody asks. Is it worth it? The answer is always going to be, it depends, but here are my thoughts. The game is currently $40. Now that's no small sum of money, especially with all the free MMOs that are out there. So far, I think it's been worth the price of admission. I like all the different weapon choices and the subsequent combat playstyles that allow players to play in a way that is best for them. I really like the crafting system, it's relatively easy to learn, and materials can be found relatively easily throughout the world during normal gameplay. The traveling is the one thing that I'm worried about. I've only been in the starting zones, so it hasn't been too time consuming, but I feel that it may become more annoying if I have to travel across the entire map for quests. We'll have to see as time goes on. Keep in mind that I've only scratched the surface of this game and there's a lot more content that I have yet to experience, but I'm looking forward to diving in soon. I hope this review from a casual player's perspective has been helpful to you. If it has, please toss me a like on the video. It really helps me to know what content you want to see. If it wasn't helpful, leave a comment and let me know what you think is missing. I'll try my best to answer as much as I can. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can catch my live streams and be part of the experience as it happens. We play New World and any other games that pique my interest, so feel free to drop in and hang out. Alright, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching.